That is Tony Award winner Ben Platt performing a song from Parade at the White House a couple of weeks ago. He was there along with his co-star Michaela Diamond in honor of Jewish American Heritage Month. And Ben Platt joins us now along with the show's director, Michael Arden. Good morning to you both. Good morning. First morning, of all, guys. congrats, guys. Six Tony nominations. That's got to feel good, Michael, yeah? It's exciting. I mean, you know, uh, theater has been our home for a long time. And uh, to, to get to be part of a season and be celebrated and be part of that excitement is, is pretty spectacular. Spectacular. What was the White House performance like for you, Ben? You've done just about everything at this point. What was that? Like? Never that. Yeah, yeah, that was the first. It was wonderful. I mean, it's it nice to to go for something that I believe so deeply in. Obviously, that's an experience I've always wanted to have. So to have that in Congress with parade that I just believe in artistically and politically and sort of just globally, it was really. Uh, felt um, very fulfilling, uh, and I got to bring my fiance with me, and that was nice. And Michaela, of course, my co-star, you see there, also nom nominated for a Tony. Yes, point out at 23, very very talented lady. Yes, she is. Um, you, in fact, the two of you we were just discussing were here in January to announce that the show was moving to Broadway. That yes, was the, the big reveal, and it's been so well received since then. Is part of that something we talked about when you were here in January? This idea that. The theme of the show, this anti-Semitism that's kind of at the center of it, just feels present again, unfortunately. Yeah, certainly. I think there's an urgency that people feel with the story and also the way that Michael has directed it. The, the storytelling is incredibly contemporary and very historically grounded. So there is a kind of an inescapability of the story. It feels really immediate uh, in a way that I think audiences are really responding to and maybe didn't necessarily feel the first time around when the show came out in 98. I mean, you could probably speak more to that, but that, that seems to be what the audiences are feeling. And certainly we know this White House has really taken on anti-Semitism and the rise of it. The second gentleman uh, spoke at that event. You were there. Uh, so, Michael, let's on that theme, this idea that it is sadly so relevant. Or is that a, when you is that ever present as you're putting on the production each and every day? Are you hearing that from the audience? Or are they saying to you, like, look, this I don't want it to be the way, but I, this feels very present right now. I think I, we hear the words. You know, unfortunately, 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 we are living in a world where we what we are seeing on stage is happening in the world. And there is there is a louder and more present threat to people in our in our country because of their faith. And yet, fortunately, we get to as artists reflect that back to an audience so that they might begin to kind of grapple with where does this come from? What what traumas from our past haven't we dealt with so that we are, are still festering this type of hate uh, so it's it's been incredibly rewarding and challenging but you know I, I think people are leaving the theater and talking about it mm -hmm. in ways that you know you might not always do when you go see a Broadway play sometimes you go back just to sit sit back and be entertained sure. which you get certainly in parade I mean you hear these these voices and see these beautiful performances but it also is a challenge to the audience to kind of imagine how we got to a place that we are in right now